violence. I was six years old when my father and my uncle came home from a party one night. My father woke me up, tied me to a chair, and told me that he was going to teach me how to be a man. He took a $5 bill in his hand and he said, son, I'm going to punch you as hard as I can in your chest. If you don't cry, that means you're a man and I'll give you these $5. He tied my wrist to the back of the chair, hit me as hard as he could in my chest, knocked me on my back. And as I'm there holding my breath, trying my best to not cry, to show my father that I'm a man, my uncle leans over, picks me up and tells me, now it's my turn. Now he wasn't my father, so he didn't hold back. He punched me as hard as he could in my chest, knocked me back on my back, and I began to cry as I felt my chest was burning and felt like I was going to pass out. My father then took the $5 out of his pocket, crumbled it up in his hand, threw it at my face as I was laying on the floor, and he told me, you're no man, you're a sissy, and you're always going to be a sissy. Without even knowing, that day, my father created a monster. Because for the rest of my life, I was going to prove to the world that I was a man. At the age of 16, I got shot in the back of my head after having a gang fight. I was 17 years old when I got shot in my ribs with the 45 caliber by my own cousin. At the age of 21, I became a pit fighter in San Antonio, Texas. This was entertainment for drug lords. They would fight roosters, then they would fight dogs, then they would fight us. I fought for four years in the pits. It was my way of making people feel what I felt on the inside. By the age of 25, my life had reduced to absolutely nothing. I was living under a bridge there in San Antonio, Texas. I had nothing to show for in my life, except for addictions, hatred, bitterness. I hated God, I hated the world, and I hated my life. Join us as I tell the rest of my story and how I was rescued from death.